everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to give you a brief show through my pantry and fridge just, just to show what we have in our cupboard and fridge on a weekly basis. I'm also going to show you my smoothie that I've been having lately and absolutely loving. So um, yeah, let's get into it. Right, so this is usually hanging here, but for the sake of the video, I'll chuck it down there. We usually have a bin down there as well, but it's outside having a bath. This is the pantry, and then down there, and then the up shelf is just junk and pretty much party stuff that we don't really use very often, but we've got to have. So I'll start in this corner, so in here I have all salt and pepper, coconut amino, uh, marinating sauce I have what is this steak and chops which I'm pretty sure that's full of sugar yep brown sugar is the second ingredient so obviously we don't use that very often we have tamari which we don't really use more tamari which we don't really use organic white wine vinegar what's that fish sauce which I use very occasionally avocado oil that's where that went and balsamic vinegar chocolate greens a lot of them because I love them and I don't like to be out of them um, some gluten-free muesli which I should probably throw out because I don't actually like that one um, the loving earth drinking chocolate that's really nice a friend gave me that and then eco organics chickpea fettuccine and then I have the more life alkaline greens for more greens I have this super dip mix which I haven't actually tried yet flax seeds the more life kids greens um, my nephew's rice custard <laughs> some cherries and some really chic cacao powder and then at the back I have some hemp flour and some pitted prunes back there then, um, beetroot powder which again I haven't used I've had it for a few months but I just don't know what to do with it um, might put it in a smoothie or a juice or something but it sounds really awesome I just yeah don't know what to do with it um, hemp seeds which I use quite a bit and that's hemp protein which I did try and I do not like um, there's some more Tropica alkaline greens which I love and some more acai which is just backup pack down here is where I keep all of my um, powders and stuff that I use. So I've got the Tropica Ultra Cleanse, BCAs, coconut flour, and then at the back I have almonds then. I have the Happy Way Vanilla Protein. Behind that is my acai powder, which I need to fill up with that other packet up there. Um, alkaline Greens, that's Tropica as well, and we go through that quite a bit, it's good. This is meant to be um, Tropica's chocolate protein powder. I have some on the way, but it's not here. Uh, this is ATP Science Glutamine Powder, the Tropica Vegan Vanilla Protein Powder, which is good. Um, then that's the Tropica Maca Powder, Tropica Matcha Powder, Tropica Camu Powder, and buckwheat. I've got the Tropica cacao which is really yummy. I find with some cacao that it's yuck. It's like bitter and tastes cheap but that one's really yummy. Um, these are cranberries which the kids love. I sometimes send them to school with Zeke. These are cacao nibs. I don't know what brand they are but um, they're walnuts and then I've got almond meal shredded coconut is empty I think yeah the very back is rice puffs used it like twice probably won't ever use it again um, desiccated coconut we go through quite a bit of What's in here? chia seeds yeah There's sultanas which again are for the kids they love them they at the back that's more cranberries um, that I forgot I had this is cacao butter that's I use that when I make coconut rough. I just make it from scratch. Um, at the back I have all the seeds. So what's down the bottom? Oh, they're um, almonds, like what are they called? Slivered almonds. Then I have sunflower seeds on top of that, pepitas, 
and pine nuts and then here is bee pollen which we love but is so so expensive but it's really good for us there are quinoa flakes or crumb our fish in um, and then down there is shaved almonds in here I have gluten-free pasta for the boys I just fill it up with whatever packet I get but I usually get like, these ones um, or this other one this brand is really good as well it's uh, kale quinoa and brown rice so it's got no baddies in there for them yeah I keep all the sauces so there's I really like this brand it's really tasty but really clean as well so there's three different flavor tomato sauces that's a curry paste which I'm pretty sure has a tiny bit of sugar in it yeah it's got this is the Thai green curry paste that we use probably once a week or once a fortnight depending what we feel like um, this stuff I'm obsessed with it's vegan dairy-free cashew parmesan and it's by pimp my salad I put it on all of my salads or um, even the kids pasta and stuff I put it, that on there this I haven't tried yet but it is I'm pretty sure an Aussie brand um, it's meant to be like Vegemite obviously loving earth hazelnut chocolate butter is to die for so good I've got Mavis peanut spread which is disgusting no not really it's just I don't like peanut butter loving earth raw um, coconut chocolate butter organic extra virgin coconut oil which I go through a lot of um, macadamia oil extra virgin olive oil and just some more extra virgin olive oil um, and then apple cider vinegar which I have every morning in my lemon water and then at the back have a little bit of coffee and then the very back there is just baking goods and tomato sauce with baking just in case I don't actually bake up here in the corner I just have my spices on this spinny thing because it's easy access this one I have all the cans I have organic coconut milk that one's really bad but that one is really good but I don't think that one's organic no I have beans and I always have some of this the diced tomatoes this is the kids section that they don't have free reign on so they can ask for a snack and they can get one of these or they can help themselves to snacks down there Gojo's gluten-free dairy-free but they're still not that great with ingredients um, same again with these donkeys they still have quite a bit of sugar in them but um, yeah they're kids I let them be kids I do believe in them still getting treats um, this is a Brook Farm bar and some whole kids fruit bars there is a couple of these in there but they're very well hidden this is a turmeric latte blend then that's Dom's favorite coffee the caramel one um, he's off coffee at the moment obviously but yeah then I have this glow in a beauty powder with collagen um, oil it's like an oil I've got some jam my magnesium and this is my better magnesium no it's my chocolate I've got the Ashy Bynes Bye Bye Bloat Tea, which I actually really rate that. It's really nice. These I have all the Loving Earth bikinis, and I like to have for breakfast. That's a caramelized one, which doesn't have much flavor to me, so I don't have a lot of. Yeah, got the kids section and bowls and slow cooker and all that crap behind there. This is the boys um, XO Cocoa Pops, or they're not actually called that. What are they called? XO Puffs, I think. But this drawer is just um, like dry stuff. So I have some crackers, all really good ingredients and really good for Dom to snack on. I have this smoky Chipotle seasoning, which we use when we have Mexican food. We've got the boys wraps there and then rice paper for rice paper rolls. I do love them. Biscuits that they can help themselves to those if they like and fruit twists, which I always have fruit twists in there for them. And blue dinosaur bars and some of these things. Chase got these yesterday at the shops. Fruit salad bites. Yeah, that is the pantry and this is the fridge. It's nothing amazing, but um, I've got 
this is Dom's water that he has to have every day. He has a whole bottle of that every day. It helps with his cells. It is the only yogurt I eat. It is amazing. Uh, in here is, um, yeah, cheese, more cheese, hummus at the back. Got falafel. We love these at the moment. They're roast pumpkin and chickpea burgers and they have really good ingredients and another flavor as well but yeah they didn't have any of them at the shops in the back is like school stuff so there's sliced cheese in there and then there's some ham and a little bit of salami which we don't have all the time but then in here is a loving earth i don't know how to say that first word boo book boo book chocolate eggs which dairy free cheddar cheese that's the block and then i've got it in the feta here cheese and crackers and here's cheese sticks for school eggs medicines a bit of organic butter um, some chocolate this is the kids probiotics that I use um, Easter eggs which the boys are liking I bought them yesterday to try and then that's probably what the Easter Bunny will end up getting them Yarra Valley, that's a um, yeah, honey and mustard salad dressing, which is yummy. That's paleonized aioli, is amazing. That's chipotle flavor, love that. That is sauerkraut or ginger kraut. This is uh, another one that's, that is turmeric. And then kombucha, love kombucha. And then this is the milk that I use. So I've got activated almond milk, almond and coconut, uh, more almond, just coconut. That's just coconut, and then that is rice milk. That's just leftover pasta for the boys. An avocado, berries, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. Um, in here, are beans, mushrooms, and little garlic things. Down under there is some pickles and maybe a leaf of some sort. I don't know, but um, yeah, we don't really use those, but I guess we probably had people over and kept them. In here is where I keep my spinach, dates, which we used to use a lot. We don't use that much at the moment. Got some just normal carrots and then organic carrots. Got capsicums, uh, purple onions and cucumber and then some tomatoes. That's just some like salad -y stuff. And then this is more vegetables. So sweet potato, broccolini, um, cauliflower and zucchini. We don't have that much at the moment. In here is where I keep the fruit that I don't keep in the fridge, obviously. So um, I've got bananas, kiwi fruit, oranges, pear, avocado, lemons. I've got about a cup of milk. I have used the coconut milk today. Cacao, how do you say it? I'm going in with a tablespoon. Check that in. I love this stuff. It's so good for increasing your magnesium. Magnesium gives us better sleep. And then I've got maca powder, one to two teaspoons. Really love the flavor of this stuff. It's like, I don't know, a bit caramelly maybe. I don't know, my Topeka chocolate protein powder. One scoop of that. Simply organic cinnamon powder, just a shake of that, about half a teaspoon. Then I have got the 365 Nourish Chocolate Greens Powder, which is super yummy and obviously super nutritious. Put about three of these in. A cold banana, not frozen. It's a wild beef banana. And 
there we have it, nice and messy, nice and thick, and very nourishing. So I've been fairly brief in this video. If you have any questions um, that you want to know about any of the products or anything like that, just comment below and I will answer there. Just didn't want to make the whole video too drawn out and boring because yeah, nobody wants that. I hope you all have a good day and I'll speak to you later.